Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss what is meant by a circle and what are its area and circumference. And again, what is meant by a semicircle? How to find the area of those semicircle and the perimeter of the semicircle? What is a chord? What is the diameter? What is the radius? What is arc? What is major arc and minor arc? Major segment, minor segment. How to find all this? I will explain in this video. See, before going into deep discussion about circle, you have to know what is meant by a circle. Actually, circle is locus of points. Otherwise, circle is formed when you join the points which are equidistantly away from a fixed point. See, if you take on the board, it will become. See, this is a fixed point. If you take the points which are equally away, that means which are equidistant from this point. Say, I am taking a point here, which is 2 centimeters away from this. If you measure this and this, you will find 2 centimeters. And again, I am taking another point here, which is having the same length. And if you take those two points or three points, more than three points, uh, these all points are equally away from this fixed point. And if you join all these points which are equally away from this fixed point, then you will get, you will get a geometrical figure called circle. And this fixed point is called center. Okay, center. And uh, this is represented by using a capital letter called O. And you may name these points as A, B, C, D, and so on. These points are said to be on the circle. And if you measure the distance between O and A, that means OA and uh, O and B, OB and O and C, OC and so on. You will find that the distance of all these uh, points from the center is same and this is called radius. So, radius is represented by using a small letter called R. Therefore, OA is equals to R that is radius. So, all R equals to small r which is called radius. And if you join a straight line from this to the opposite point of on the circle, let it be E. And if you measure, you will find this is one R and this is second R. If you measure these two, you will find two R. R plus R that is equals to two R, which is called diameter. So diameter generally this is represented with d so therefore d is equals to 2r so diameter is a line segment which joins two points two different points on the circle and it has to pass through this center then only that is called diameter and you have the line segments which will not pass through this center also suppose i am joining See, let it be G and this is H. If you join these two, this is also line segment. Uh, uh, when you join two different points on the circle, which will not pass through the center. But this is not called diameter. But this is called a chord. Chord. Okay. GH is called chord. You will have number of chords, infinite number of chords. Uh, in the circle. So, if you drag this uh, chord closer and closer to the uh, center of the circle, then it will coincide with this diameter. Therefore, if anybody questions you, what is the biggest chord in the circle, you have to say that that is diameter. Diameter is the biggest, biggest chord in the circle. This is the circle. See, if you observe, the distance between O and A is called radius and distance between C and D is called diameter. Now, 
in this case if you draw any circle you will have three sets of points first set is the points the set of points which lies on the circle see if you observe the point c is on the circle and this d is also on the circle this a is also on the circle you may find infinite number of points which are on the circle and if you come to the second set of points see you may find different points outside the circle so you may let e g h all these points are lying outside the circle that's why these set of points are called exterior area of the circle and if you see another set of points which are lying inside then those points are called lying in interior of the circle if you find the distance between any point outside the circle to the center you will find that will be more than actually i am joining this one this is automatically more than the radius radius is from here to here and if you take any point which is inside the circle then suppose i am taking this is uh, as p if you join this uh, center and p you will find this length is less than the uh, less than the radius so if you take any point inside the circle and if you measure the distance between those points and the center you will find the lengths of those uh, distances are less than the radius now coming to coming to circumference circumference of circle see in the geometrical figures square rectangle parallelogram what whatever it may be you come across the term perimeter so perimeter is nothing but length of the boundary you may find the perimeter of our house also why because you may have the compound wall of your house if you measure the length of those compound wall you will say that that is called perimeter in the similar manner you are using a different word here that is called circumference circumference is nothing but perimeter of this circle that means starting from here if you measure the length of this curved line then that is called perimeter see i am taking a small circle let it be starting point c and if you start if you start from here and if you go like this see let it be d also suppose starting and ending points are d i am starting with the point c and ending with point d and if i open you will find c and d like this if you measure the length of this that will become perimeter that means you are opening like this if you house you may have seen the bangle if you open the bangle and it make if you make it straight that is called perimeter so what is the formula for finding this circumference of the circle so that is 2 pi r where this is 2 and pi is the value 22 by 7 22 by 7 into r so r means the radius they will give you some value for r then they will say that to find the perimeter if you substitute suppose r as 4 or something else you will get some value that is called perimeter sometimes you may have this circumference as pi into d also why because you know this 2 into r that means i will write pi into 2r d is equals to 2r therefore you may write it as pi into d this is the perimeter of the circle actually pi is 22 by 7 it is an irrational number not a rational number so uh, if you want the history of this one history of irrational numbers i made a separate video you may watch that video also next measurement of a circle is area if you take any circle okay this is a circle this is a circle and uh, this is the center of the circle and you may take it as radius 
or let it be a therefore o a is called radius then that is called pi r square area of the circle is calculated as pi r square square units okay square units means if r is given in centimeter therefore it will become square centimeters or centimeter square you may write this also like this otherwise you may write unit square also unit square whatever the uh, unit whatever the way you write that both are correct so here you know the value of r they will give value of r in centimeters or meters then you have to substitute again the question is uh, what is pi pi is an irrational number and its value is 22 by 7 and if you substitute value of r then you will get the area of this circle next if you see these are very important terms arc minor arc major arc segment major segment minor segment now i am taking a circle whose center is o and uh, joining a point on the circle let that point be a o a is called radius of the circle now what is meant by arc arc is nothing but some part of this curved line see i am taking from here to here this part is called arc see actually this is not a straight this is a curved line curved line that's why that is called arc this is the arc is part of the circumference of this circle now coming to minor arc the name itself says that minor means small when the length of the arc is small when compared to the length of the uh, remaining part of the circle see if you take the length of this arc then you will have this arc also this is also length of the arc see if you name it as c and d the point c and d c d is minor arc why because when you measure the length from the point c to d you will find it is less than the length of the arc when you measure from d to c therefore dc is called major arc major and minor major means that is the arc which is having more length when compared to minor arc so i am writing this and you have to know another word chord you come across that chord c-h-o-r-d if you join any point any two points on the circle which is not passing the center let it be e and f this is called chord it will not actually pass through the center if it passes through the center that will become the diameter so i am taking a chord which is not passing through the center then you will have two reasons see this is the first reason okay this is the first reason and this is the second reason in these two reasons we will call one as minor segment and another as major segment so here segment is the region which is enclosed between the arc and the chord see this is the segment we will call minor segment if it is less than the remaining area and if you call major segment if you find that that will have more area see in this case this area is enclosed between the major arc and the chord that's why it is called major segment and if you observe this region is enclosed between the minor curve and the chord that's why this is called minor segment next we will go to semicircle the name itself semi means half of the circle therefore if you divide a circle into two equal halves through its diameter then the part each of the parts are called semicircle suppose i am taking i am taking this is a circle and let its center o and this is the diameter 
CD. This is also a chord. Actually, it is passing through the center, and that's why this is the this is the biggest chord. If you observe, this diameter is dividing the circle into two equal halves. If you write the first half like this, then it will be like this. C center O will be here. Okay, this is C and this is D. This is called semicircle. If you divide the circle into two equal halves, the first half, either of the halves, are called semicircles. Now coming to this semicircle, how to find its perimeter and area? This is very simple. Actually, the area of the semicircle is half of the area of the circle. You know that area of the circle is equals to area of circle is equals to pi r square okay and uh, if you see area of semicircle this is very interesting pi r square by 2 that means this is half exactly when coming to circumference or perimeter you will find somewhat uh, difference actually circumference circumference of circle is equals to you know that that is 2 pi r units that is the length that's why units if r is given in centimeters then you say that some centimeters circumference of circumference of semicircle semicircle this is what uh, somewhat uh, uh, difference is there uh, actually, we divided the area by 2, then you got the area of the semicircle. But here also, uh, you will do the same. See, what is that 2 pi r is the formula for finding circumference of circle. If you do by 2, you will get half of perimeter of circle. That means the length of this from here to here, this is called perimeter. If you divide the circle into two semicircles then you will have this boundary also you have to add this boundary also then it will become circumference what is this from c to d that is nothing but diameter therefore plus d okay if you cancel this d therefore these two you will have pi r plus d this is the circumference of semicircle otherwise you may write pi r plus this d is written as 2r why because d is equals to 2r and if you take r as your common factor therefore you will have pi plus 2 units this is the formula for finding circumference of semicircle now basing on this we will solve some problems in the next video i hope this video is helpful to you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe, share and like it. Thank you very much. We will meet in the next video.